Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Smith. And I'm Nicole Pribino. On Park Update this week, the city garners wins in St. Louis Park Magazine's Best of St. Louis Park. The Hennepin County Commissioner District 3 primary yields two front runners. And Jack Jablonski sees stars on prom night. These stories and more just ahead on the update. A special election is required by state law for Hennepin County Commissioner District 3 due to the resignation of Gail Dorfman, whose third district seat covered all of St. Louis Park and southwest Minneapolis. The special primary county Commissioner District 3 election was held on April 29th. The two top vote-getters were Marion Green and Ann Mavity. They will face off in the special District 3 election on May 13th. Join us Thursday evenings from 5.30 to 8.15 p.m. at Ainsworth Park for Basketball in the Park. Basketball in the Park is a program put on by the St. Louis Park Police Department and it is a time when police and youth come together to play basketball and do crafts. Volunteers are needed to assist in basketball games, craft tables, and playground areas. This is a great opportunity for those who would like to work with the youth and love to be outdoors in the summer. The city's inspections department is looking for a volunteer to assist in exterior commercial property maintenance inspections this summer. Time commitment is twice a week, up to four hours each day for approximately three months. Contact Laura Smith at lsmith at stlouispark.org if interested in one or both of these volunteer opportunities. Full details can be found under the volunteering section on the city's website, stlouispark.org. In Southwest LRT News, the Metropolitan Council has announced that the joint public hearing with the Hennepin County Regional Railroad Authority will occur Thursday, May 29th at the Hennepin County Government Center, 300 South 6th Street in Minneapolis at 6 p.m. An open house will be held on the public service level of the Hennepin County Government Center beginning at 5 p.m. The previously announced May 12th hearing will not take place. The hearing was rescheduled to May 29th due to the need to correct information in the Minneapolis portion of the municipal consent plans. Municipal consent plans, which are available on the Met Council's website at swlrt.org and at city halls and libraries along the corridor, were updated by staff on April 22nd to ensure every set contains corrected information. Join the Parks and Recreation Advisory Commission of St. Louis Park for the 8th Annual Mini Ha Ha Creek Cleanup on Saturday, May 3rd from 9 to 11 a.m. Volunteers should report to Isaac Walton Creekside Park, 7341 Oxford Street. Dress for the weather and wear comfortable work clothes. Gloves, waders, cleanup tools, and disposal bags will be provided. If the weather is questionable, call the weather line at 952-924-2567. The rain date is Sunday, May 4th. Contact Jay Vaughn at stlouispark.org with any questions. We need your help to develop new zoning code for the three light rail transit station areas. Two meetings are scheduled for first steps in gaining community feedback of the future form of the station areas. The first meeting is Tuesday, May 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Union Congregational United Church of Christ at 3700 Alabama Avenue South. This regards the Louisiana and Wooddale station areas. The second meeting includes the Beltline Station area, and that will be on Tuesday, May 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Rec Center Banquet Room, 3700 Monterey Drive. You are welcome to participate in one or both meetings. More information is available by contacting Ryan Kelly at rkelly at stlouispark.org, or you may call 952-924-2841. The city has multiple employment opportunities available at this time, ranging from full-time, part-time, and seasonal. A few of the positions include Deputy Fire Chief, Playground Leader, and Summer Playground Naturalist. You can view the full job descriptions, deadlines, and apply online at stlouispark.org forward slash employment.html. Due to a Safe Routes walk assessment last spring, Aquila Elementary set the goal to start a new student safety patrol program. Building lead Rachel Nelson worked with AAA Minneapolis to acquire free safety equipment and resources, flags, and vests. Ms. Nelson worked with neighboring PSI Elementary to get training for herself to work with youth. After spring break, fifth grade students were recruited and trained. This is a great change for promoting active youth and increasing safety for all. The school will host several walk, bike to school events in May to encourage walking and biking for students. St. Louis Park Magazine held its Best of St. Louis Park 2014 event a couple weeks ago, and the city was honored in the following categories. Best Local Gem in the Park, 
Westwood Hills Nature Center. Best new green initiative in the park, City of St. Louis Park Organic Waste Program. And best summer program camp, St. Louis Park Rec Center Park Program. Thank you to everyone who voted. And you can check out the complete list of winners and finalists at slpmag.com. Jumpstart your remodeling plans by taking part in St. Louis Park's annual home remodeling tour. Six of your neighbors will open up their homes and share their remodeling ideas and accomplishments with you. The annual self-guided tour, home remodeling tour, is Sunday, May 4th from noon to 4 p.m. For more details and the addresses of the six tour homes, go to the city's website, stlouispark.org, or contact Marnie Olson at 952-924-2196. The Park Spanish Immersion Folklore Dance Group will perform their colorful and highly entertaining spring performance on May 9th beginning at 7 p.m. at the St. Louis Park High School. You will enjoy the music and costume dancers filling the entire stage of the auditorium. I've attended performances the last two years and have been very impressed, as will you. Just ahead, Nicole has events for the young and young at heart on Generations. In senior news, register now for a trip to Old Log Theater to have lunch and see Steel Magnolias on Thursday, May 15th. The registration date is May 8th and the price is $59 per member and $65 per non-member. Free legal consultations by appointment only are scheduled for Tuesday, May 13th, 1 to 2.30 p.m. For more information and to register, call 952-928-6444. 10 students from St. Louis Park High School have written a creative book, The Lantern of Truth. The students worked for many months writing and editing, and the final result of their work was judged by a group of librarians and re-edited by Verona Publishing. Two readings book signings are scheduled. The first will take place at Park Tavern Saturday, May 3rd from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in the 11th frame room. The second will take place at the St. Louis Park Library Saturday, May 10th from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. This week's developmental asset, 63% of young people report their life has purpose. Talk with a young person about what gives your life purpose. Children first, asset number 39, sense of purpose. Young person reports that my life has purpose. Now, here's Misty Lewis with the sports break. The undefeated Orioles versus undefeated Red Knights baseball game on April 28th was, you guessed it, rained out as the weather continues to plague spring sports. The Red Knights traveled to Robbinsdale Cooper on Wednesday, then home to face Columbia Heights on Thursday. Check the sports ticker at the bottom of your screen for the latest scores. The Orioles next host a doubleheader at Keller Field on Friday, May 2nd, weather permitting. First pitch at 415 and the nightcap is at 630 versus Irondale. St. Louis Park then travels to Robbinsdale Armstrong for a doubleheader on Saturday, May 3rd at 9 a.m. versus Armstrong and 11.30 a.m. against Minneapolis South. Come on out and support the Orioles. Park TV 16 will be covering Park Softball on Thursday and Benilde St. Margaret's Baseball on Friday if it doesn't rain or snow those days. We hope to have highlights for you on next week's sports break. Olympic skier Lindsey Vaughn, a Minnesota native, made an appearance at Hoy Guards in the Miracle Mile last Sunday. Vaughn's appearance was to promote resorts in Vail, Colorado, but enthusiastic fans were just excited to see her and get an autograph. An injury on the slopes in Sochi, Russia forced her to postpone her dreams of Olympic gold at the Winter Games earlier this year. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and this picture says it all. BSM's Jack Jablonski took ESPN Sports Nation host Michelle Beadle to his prom Saturday night at Benilde St. Margaret's. Jablonski had asked her during a radio interview in March. Beadle had dinner with the Jablonski family, then participated in the Grand March at the school and rode a school bus with other prom goers to the dance. Beadle says she admires Jablonski for keeping smiling despite what he's gone through. That's your Park Update Sports Break. I'm Misty Lewis. Well, that's it for this week's park update. Thank you for watching. Now, be sure you take some time to get out there and experience life in the park.